Welcome to opening night of Baseball America 2021 with History Maker Baseball, Big League Baseball Game. I'm Keith Avalon from Play Games. Sam is running the board tonight. And we are going to kick off our ninth season of Baseball America, our fictional baseball league. Although, uh, to be honest with you, it doesn't seem that fictional to me anymore. <laughs> I've been doing it so long. A lot of these players seem like real players to me. Uh, like it says on the website, Baseball America is... Uh, Something that lets you create your own alternate big league baseball universe, and everybody does it a little bit differently. Uh, tonight we're borrowing Travis Jansen's Baseball America universe. His uh, Baseball America has two six-team leagues, American and, American and National, and all the teams were named by the Play Games community. Uh, so in a sense, it's kind of a community league. But everybody has the same 12 teams, and most people do play with the standard lineups, so these lineups will probably seem very familiar to you, no matter what uh, they go by in your league. Um, we'll throw out the first pitch, though, tonight with uh, Travis's hometown Milwaukee Barrelman uh, hosting the memorably named Steubenville Stench. I don't know who named them the Stench, but <laughs> if you've ever been to Steubenville, it's actually pretty appropriate. Main, because of the factories. Uh, very industrial town. Uh, by the way, it's T-shirt day at Biddy Beer Ballpark. The first 10,000 fans got a Johnny Fortune opening day 2021 T-shirt. We have a couple of these to give away ourselves uh, in, during our seventh inning stretch. Uh, un unfortunately, we only have XL and 2XL sizes left. So if that will work for you, stick around seventh inning. We'll do a History Maker Baseball die roll, high-low high die roll uh, contest to award... Uh, a Johnny Fortune t-shirt. So will the uh, stench stink up the place? Or will they cause a stink by knocking off the hometown barrelman in front of a packed house of 41,000 fans at Biddy Beer Ballpark? Only one way to find out. Let's play ball. Starting pitchers for tonight will be Melito Ortiz on the mound for the barrelman. And Steve Show, the veteran, well-known in baseball America circles, on the mound for Steubenville. And we'll go through the... Uh, Batting orders, you'll discover them soon enough. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and get rolling. Uh, there's no DH in uh, the National League in Travis's league. He's got National and American. In the American League, there's a DH, but the National League, there is not. So uh, we'll have pitchers bat, and we're ready to roll. Here we go. Are the dice visible? I think they are. One, two, four, control. Does Ortiz have control? He does this time, so it'll be a ground out for LJ Cron. For the first out of the ball game, Dave Wedge, the second baseman, is up for uh, Steubenville. And uh, 126, that's going to be a fresh check. And uh, that will be fresh since it's only the second batter of the game. And Wedge is going to line out. So a quick 1 2, and that will bring up uh, Manny Infante for Steubenville. And Ortiz with the, with the delivery, 1-5-6. It's going to be a ground out. Unless he's a whiffer, he is not. No, it's going to be outfield drama. Sorry, outfield drama. And we have a 15. Is the left fielder gold for the barrelman? Let's check. Pedro Gallardo is gold. Gallardo, I guess I should say, is gold. So he's going to make a running stab, a sharp line drive to left field, a fly out, and we'll go to the chemistry uh, side of the uh, game book to start the Barrelman's first at bat, bottom of the first, and we'll, and we'll uh, have Jorge Cosme leading off for Milwaukee. And we're on the chemistry chart. Since it's opening days, everybody's harmony, full harmony for both teams. And we start with a 23 on the chemistry chart. Uh, pitching team harmony, yes. Marginal pitch catches the corner for a strikeout. So Steve Show's got some stuff. Cosme strikes out to lead off for Milwaukee. Here's Johnny Fortune, the man of the hour. Batting number two for the Barrelman. Three, five, six. That's the uh, same result. And they are both righties, so it'll be a strikeout. Ooh, two quick strikeouts for Steve Show to start the start the game for Steubenville. Matt Lamonico, the hard-hitting third baseman for the Barrelman. 2-2-6. Two, two, Batter hit by pitch. Yes, he is. Got plunked. So Lamonico gets plunked by Show. And here's Aaron Walston, the veteran catcher. Kind of a journeyman. 1-1-3. One, one, That's ace or dynamic. He is neither ace nor dynamic. Is Walston a slugger? He's not. 
going to be a single to center field. Let me check the asterisk, though. Sad sack or home run king strikes out. Ooh, he is a home run king, and he got the dot. So he str Walson strikes out. Took a big cut. It was a great hanging curveball, but he missed it. So that'll end the inning for Milwaukee. Three strikeouts for Steve Show to start the game. And Jude Brandon leads off the second inning for Steubenville. Three, four, five. Iron catcher? Nobody's. The only iron is Toby Gallus, the third baseman for uh, Steubenville. Uh, good eye? No. So it's going to be a strikeout for Jude Brandon. Next up is Tito Valenza, yeah, uh, who is the uh, center fielder. Three, four, five. Uh, iron catcher? No, it's the same thing. It's going to be another strikeout. I, I should have used the. Uh, sorry, I should have used the. Uh, Right now, chart. Let's go and re-roll that. So it'll be uh, neutral, uh, a semi-hot batter, neutral, 46. Uh, hot pitcher? Let's find out. No, he's not. So it'll be a ground out to first base for Valenza. And that brings up Toby Gallus. Now we'll go back to the regular chart. 455. Five. Uh, flash, double flash. Yeah, well, that's only going to count for one, though. So Ortiz gets Gallus, and that'll wrap it up for Steubenville in the top of the second. Still no score. And Paxton Friel comes to the plate for the Barrelman. Four, four, six. Is he a star pitcher? He is. Ground out to second base. So Show gets uh, Friel to ground out. And here's Pedro Gallardo, one, three, four, uh, gold catcher. Let me just check here. Uh, the gold catcher will be, this year is not gold, no. I've, neither of them are gold, actually. Uh, champion, no. We have outfield drama. So Gallardo hits it to the outfield, 12. Right fielder iron, no, it's going to be a routine fly out. Catch is made by C.J. Cron, and that will bring up Rosendo Pantoja. We got a four-four-four. Uh-oh. Is he a scrapper? He is not a scrapper. Did not get the dot. It's a double to right field. I check my triple asterisk. He's not a home run king, so that'll be the first hit of the ball game, and Pantoja rips it. Put him on second base. And here's Fausto Arialto. Two out, man on second. Steve Show with a windup, 2-2-5. Two, two, is he a star pitcher? He is. Ground out. So ground out to Johnny Fortune, and that'll end the inning. So nobody in for... Sorry, not a, it was, it'd be a ground out to Infante, not Johnny Fortune. Uh, all right, so nobody in. No score. We go to the third inning. Take our base runner off. And here's Roger Vischer, the catcher for Steubenville, facing Melito Ortiz. Two, three, four. Runners on base? Nope. Is he the hot batter? Uh, he is not the hot batter. And uh, pop out to third base. So a pop out to third base for Vischer. Here comes Clark. Matt Lamonico bringing it in. One six six for Lamont Clark. Is he workman or gilded? No. Is he a whiffer? He is not. It'll be a ground out to the third baseman, and we will go to the experience charts. So Lamont Clark grounds out to Lamonico and. Uh, Oh, it's going to be a, a, a break for uh, Show, who is an icon batter. Icon versus icon here. 46. Icon pitcher, yes. The sneak strike three. So in the battle of the pitchers, Ortiz wins this one, sneaks the strike past Show, who strikes out, and that'll be it for Steubenville. Nobody on. Nobody in. No score as we go to the bottom of the third. And Melito Ortiz will lead off. Now, 
uh, unusual. We had Melita Ortiz pitching the show. Now we got show pitching to Melita Ortiz back to back. That's I don't know they've ever had that happen before. One four six. Uh, let's see, Flash. He is Flash. Struck him out. So Ortiz goes down swinging. Jorge Cosme struck out in the first inning. 566. Is he wild? No. Good eye? No. It's just another strikeout. Holy cow. And we're going to go to the right now chart. Cosme gets caught looking. Here's Johnny Fortune. And the right now, so, so it's going to be semi-cold versus semi-hot. Fifty-six. Hot pitcher. Ooh, I guess I need to roll this. No, he's not. Uh, infield drama. We're going to have infield drama. So Johnny Fortune connects. 44. Pitcher gold. He is not. Uh, so it's save it first on an error. All right, so looks like an error. Looks like uh, Fortune will get on with an error. Error was on, uh, yeah, on the pitcher. I guess the, I guess uh, show gets the error. Here's a Matt Lamonico with two out in the third. Let's see if Lamonico can launch one. One four four. Uh, is he flash? He is. Struck him out. Oh, we got the glasses result. I think our, our home plate umpire is Dick Mill. He's respected, so that won't come into effect. He calls, makes the right call. And a strikeout for Lamonico. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's six strikeouts already for show, who's putting on a show. No score. Go to the fourth inning. And leading off for Steubenville will be the leadoff batter, L.J. Cron. And the pitch, two, four, six. Does he have control? He does have control. It's a ground out to Ortiz. Fields it nicely. And brings up Dave Wedge, who lined out in the first in the first inning. One, five, six. It's going to be, is he a whiffer? He is not a whiffer. Outfield drama. Launches it to the outfield, 46. Left fielder iron, no, that'll be a no. Running grab of a hooking liner. Line, line out, and we're going to go to the chemistry chart. So the left fielder for the uh, barrelman, Gallardo, makes the play. And two out, and we're going to go to the chemistry chart for Manny Infante. 23. Pitching team harmony, yes. Marginal pitch catches the corner again for a strikeout. So that'll set down Infante. And uh, just like that, we go to the bottom of the fourth, still no score. Pitcher's duel between Melito Ortiz and Steve Show. Matt Lamonico uh, struck out. So it's Aaron Walston leading off for the barrelman. He struck out his first at bat. Three, five, six. That's the same result. And let's see. Righty versus righty will be another strikeout. Wow. Show is mowing them down. It's Paxton Friel. Two, four, six. Control. He's got double control. So back to back ground outs for Friel and Gallardo will end the inning. And we go to the fifth. Still no score. Ortiz will face Jude Brannon. Oops. Let's see here. I got my cards out of order. Wedge, Infante, Brannon. There we go. All right, Ortiz pitching to Valenza. <laughs> I'm sorry, to, to Brannon. I did have my cards out of order. Then it's Valenza. All right, here we go. Three, two, three, six. That's going to be the, the walk result. He's not got double control, so that'll be a base on balls. So Brandon leads off with a walk for Steubenville. And here's Tito Valenza. No score, top of the fifth. 
One, two, five. That looks like a double play ball. It's not a struggler. Uh, is he patient? He's not. It'll be a ground out to the third baseman unless he's a whiffer. He's not. So a double play. Valenza hits into the double play to remove the threat, making things a little easier for Ortiz. Here's Toby Gallus with two out. Two, two, two. Is he a sad sack? No, it's a double to center field. He's not a home run king. He's, he's, not, he's not anything. He's got nothing on his card except the iron fielding. A double. Good thing I got the double play. And I'll break up the no-hitter. I didn't want to mention it. And Vischer with a man on second. Only the second base runner of the game. Well, no, I guess that's not true. We had a base runner earlier this game. Earlier this inning. All right, here's Vischer. One, two, three. Flash and fresh. Well, he's got double flash. Is he still fresh? He is not. Did not get the dot. So it'll be a ground out to the shortstop to end the inning. All right, so nobody in. Still scoreless as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Let's put Vischer on the bottom. Lamont Clark will be it leading off for Steubenville when we return to the uh, top half of the sixth. Looks like Rosendo Pantoja against Steve Show. He doubled for uh, the Barrelman's only hit. It was back in the second inning. 4-4-5. Four, four, flash. He is flash. Struck out Pantoja. That makes eight strikeouts. Fausto Arialto. 134. Gold catcher? Uh, I don't know. Neither catcher is gold. Uh, he's not a champion, so it'll be outfield drama. So Pantoja launches it to the outfield. 44. Center fielder? Iron now. Uh, uh, let's see. It's Valenza who makes the dramatic play and will go to the chemistry chart. So a fly out for Arialto, and that will bring up Ortiz. But we are using chemistry this time. So once again, the pitcher gets the benefit from the uh, intangible chart. Both teams with harmony on opening day. 14, batting team dissonance? No. Oh, look at that. Ortiz rips a single. And gets on base with two out. Here's Jorge Cosme. Two, three, three. Ace or star? Yes, he's a star. So it's a ground out to the shortstop. And then I'll end the inning. So Cosme, who's really the big gun for, for the barrelmen, has been very quiet tonight. Nobody in. And at the end of five, it's still scoreless. Steubenville and Milwaukee. So top of the sixth, Lamont Clark leading off. And here we go. Four, five, five. Is he flash? He's double flash. Struck him out. And so Johnny Fortune, or I'm sorry, uh, Lamont Clark goes down. Put my X in the wrong spot. And he strikes out show. Quickly, there's two down. LJ Cron. One, four, five. Struggler, no. It's going to be a ground out to the, the first baseman. And that'll end the inning. Wow. Game's just marching right by. Go to the bottom of the six. Still no score. Leading off will be the man himself, Johnny Fortune. Steve Show so far through uh, six innings, through five innings, has struck out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and allowed just two hits. One, one, five. Is he fresh? He is not. Is he a home run king or a sand sack? Nope. Looks like Johnny Fortune is going to double the left field to open up the sixth inning. Let's see if uh, Lamonico can get him in. Matt Lamonico hit by a pitch in the first, struck out in the third. And there's the pitch. 1-1-5, one, one, another fresh check. And again, show's not fresh. Home run king? He is. Oh, struck out. Took the big swing, but missed. I think, this, now, is that the second time he's done that? So, ooh, that would have been a dinger. Instead, 
Johnny Fortune standing on second base, and we have two out. Here's Aaron Walston. Two, three, three. That's the Acer star, and show is a star, so it'll be a ground out to end the inning. Well, there was a bit of a threat there, but boy, show is lucky that uh, Lamonico didn't catch that hanging curveball. All right, so it's top of the seventh, and here comes Dave Wedge leading off for Steubenville. Still no score. Three, three, five. Wild, no. Sad sack, no. It's going to be a single to right field and a stolen base for Dave Wedge. Well, we'll just leave that little marker right where it is. Manny Infante trying to get him in. One, four, six. Is he flash? Double flash. Struck him out. Struck out Infante. And then strikes out Brannon. And here's Tito Valenza. Suddenly, there's two out. And Wedge is standing there on second base saying, come on, man. Somebody somebody connect. Get me in. Here's the pitch. 566. He's not wild. Not a good eye. Struck him out. And we go to the right now chart. Well, Ortiz picked a good time to find his groove. Three strikeouts in a row after the leadoff batter Wedge gets on with a single and then steals. So that'll have uh, Toby Gallus coming up. And we go to the uh, right now chart for Paxton Friel as we lead off the uh, bottom of the seventh. Then we got to do our t-shirt giveaway, though. Let me make sure I get the right page here. All right, so seventh inning stretch. We have uh, two XL and XL. Uh, T-shirts remaining in our stock of Johnny Fortune. Um, unfortunately, you know, the, the crowd at the Bitty Beer Ballpark just kind of scarfed these things up. We do have a couple of XLs and two XLs remaining. So if you're if that works for you, here's what you do. Give me a History Maker, base roll, uh, History Maker Baseball dice roll. Uh, anything from 111 to 666. Keep, do it in, in the descending order like History Maker Baseball. So the smallest number has to be first and the biggest number last. And we'll give you 30 seconds or so to put your number in the comments section right now. And then I will roll... Closest without going over, right? Closest without going over, right? Just like the price is right. The closest to the, 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 the number that I roll here on the table without going over will win the Johnny Fortune Baseball America shirt. So go ahead and put your uh, numbers in the comments section. Give you about 30 seconds to do that. I'll recap the uh, box score so far. Both starters still in the game. It's been a pitcher's duel. No score. Bottom of the seventh. Uh, Ortiz has struck out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He struck out nine and given up two hits, a double and a single. Double to a Gallus and a single to Wedge. Other than that, he's only, let's see, he has not walked. He's walked one batter. Steve Show, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and also nine strikeouts. He has also given up, he's given up three hits, two doubles and a single, and has not walked a batter. He did allow a, a runner to get on base with an error. Johnny Fortune got on base uh, in the third by by an error by show. But other than that, it's been a pretty clean game, very fast. Got our numbers in? All right, here we go. Closest to uh, this number without going over. And the number I roll is 255. I want to scan those numbers real quick. So if you put anything with a th that started with a three or more, you're out. Yeah, two, four, five. That's going to be the closest so far. That's James Hart. Anyone else? Anyone else? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Two, four, five. That'd be a hero. That'd be a hero check and a hit. So way to go. I think that's it. James Hart from, if I'm remembering correctly, Fort Hood, Texas. Congratulations. We will uh, get that shirt in the mail to you tomorrow. Back to the ball game. Bottom of the seventh. No score. Barrelman at bat. Paxton Friel, who's grounded out twice. Steve Show. Both starters still in the game. 2 4 6. Oh, and they, and they both have extra shutout freshness, too, don't they? Uh, control. Show has double control. Oh, look at that. So it's going to be a ground out. He's going to, he's going to collect the, the grounder from Friel and then collect another grounder from Gallardo. And we are two outs. 
Going to Pantoja. 116. Is he fresh? Did not get the check. Utility or sad sack? He is not. A single left field. Got a delta rating, but no delta rating for Pantoja. So a single. That's his second base hit. Also doubled in the second inning. So Pantoja is on. Here's Fausto Arialto. Let me get my marker correct. 1-1-5. One, one, it's another fresh check, but I think he's going to pass this one. He does have the shutout freshness, so it's a pop fly to uh, Infante to end the inning. Go to the top of the eighth. Still no score. Gallus. 2-4-6. Is he have control? He's got, he's got semi-control. Oh, he does not have the dot, so that's a, that's a no. Is he eager? No. So it's a walk. And Gallus is not active, so he won't steal, but he is on base. We got another base runner for uh, the stench. Here's Vischer with a man on. 5-66. Is he wild? No. Good eye? He is not. Struck him out. That's the tenth strikeout for Ortiz. And we go to the right now chart. Now we're using the full qualities. Clark is full cold. Ortiz is full hot. That's a good matchup for Ortiz. 36. Cold bat or cold pitcher? Nope. Pop out to the catcher. And that will bring up. Steve Show. Well, you know, I think we're going to let him bat. I don't know. You know, you wonder. Got a man on. Do you pull him? They got pretty good bullpen. I guess they probably would, wouldn't they? All right, so show's coming out. Let's see. Um, let's go with, uh, oops, let's see here. Hmm. I think Hammond is probably their best, or Bobby Grubb. Let's go with Bobby Grubb, who's got the big bat. So Bobby Grubb will pinch it for show. And that means we're going to have to go to the bullpen. All right, Bobby Grubb facing Melito Ortiz. Man on first. Three, four, five. Iron catcher? No. Good eye? No. Struck him out. Oh my gosh. So Grubb goes down swinging, and nobody comes across. And we're still scoreless into the bottom of the eighth. All right. So show's going to come out. And let's see, I think we're going to leave Ortiz in. And pitching for, uh, let's say Biancolana for the uh, closer. I'll put him in Truman Ken YA. The right handed batter, or right handed pitcher rather. All right, Ken, Ken YA is in the, in the game for uh, show. And there we go. Two, two, two. Oh, my gosh. And that's Melito Ortiz, who is a sad sack. Oh. Oh, he's a semi-sad sack. And he didn't get the dot. Hold on a second. Melito Ortiz is a semi-sad sack, and there's no dot. So he's going to hit a double. Let me just check the triple asterisk. I believe that's the home run king thing. Yeah, look at that. So Melito Ortiz wraps a double to lead off the uh, eighth inning. That's pretty amazing. Off Ken Ken Wire. Ken Wye. Or Ken Oyer, however you'd like to pronounce it. All right, here's Jorge Cosme. And they should be able to get somebody in here, right? 466. Control. He's got semi control. He has it. Oh, pitch red, single left field. That's gonna score him. That's the that's the uh, loss of control control result. So it's a single left field, and that's going to score Ortiz. Jorge 
Jorge Cosme finally comes through. Ortiz with the run. They're mobbing him as he crosses the plate. And Ken Y.A. is uh, not, not uh, giving up two hits and two at-bats. Here's Johnny Fortune. One, two, three. That's the flash and fresh. Well, the flat freshness goes away because he, uh, well, and not, I'm sorry. That would be if show were in there. Ken Wire, he does have flat fresh. And he does have flash. It'll be a strikeout. So he gets Johnny Fortune to reach for strike three. One out. Here's Matt LaMonico. Five, five, six. Ace. He is an ace. Line out to third base. And that will bring up. Aaron Walston. Two, three, four. Uh, runners on base. We do have runners on base. We have plate drama. 16. Catcher iron? No. It's a low and away for a ball. We're going to have an umpire result. So runner on first base. And here we go. We'll roll the decider. 13. Questionable umpire at home? Nope, Nick Mill. Second time we've uh, looked to Nick. He's uh, respected. One of the top umpires in Baseball America. Uh, calls ball four based on balls. So, Walston is on base. Two men on now. Ken Wire says, hey, that was pretty close. Here's Friel. Three five six. That's the same result, isn't it? And I believe he's not the same. Three five six. No, he's he's a lefty. That's going to be a. Make sure he's not. Oh, he's a util. Oh, he is a utility, semi-utility. He got the dot, so that will take that base hit away, and it'll end the inning. So Friel had a chance to put another insurance run in there, but uh, uh, I think we got the wrong pitcher in. Oh, I do. You're <sighs> yes. Ken Y.A. pitches for bar the Barrelman. Sorry, I knew I was gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Would be Reed Kilmer. Pretty similar though. They're both Ace Flash. The only thing that oh, that's right, but he doesn't have the control. Ah. All right, so we gotta back it up. Thank you for who I don't know who, who pointed that out. But thank you for, for several, people. several people. All right. Well, thank you for bringing that up. All right. So we can we can back it up though. So the base hit would be an out because there would be no control. Um, this is what happens when I play, <laughs> play teams. I try to get, make the logos and everything so I would remember who's on what. But obviously I failed there. So that would have been. Let me just check here. Cosme. Let me can repair this. Let's check Cosme. He's not a home run king, right? Let's see here. Home run king or slug? He is a semi slugger, though. Uh, so it would have been. I don't have. Oh, that's right. The the dot was not. The the dot was there because of the uh, control, right? So the, there there was a dot there. So he would have been a slugger. It would have been a strikeout. All right. So let's back up here. So Cosme would have struck out. And we'll recreate it from there. All right. So there we go. Let's back it up. That's the great thing about tabletop baseball is you can fix that. All right. So Ortiz stays on second. Cosme strikes out. We'll bring Johnny Fortune back. It was all just a bad dream for uh, Truman Kenway. He was thinking... What if I was pitching for the stench? I'm sure glad I'm not. All right, so here's uh, Johnny Fortune and Lamont. We'll go back to Fortune. Okay, so so we have Ortiz still on second. Reed Kilmer is in. All right. So we back it up. We can take the run off the board. Ortiz still at second. One, there's one out. And fortune is up. One one three. Ace or dynamic? He is an ace. Let's grind out to the first baseman. That'll leave Melito Ortiz at second. And now there's two out. And here's Matt Lamonico. 
one one five. That will be a fresh result, and he is fresh, so it's a pop fly that's the choice. And that'll mean no runs in. So we go to the ninth. And Walson will lead off next inning. All right. Well, thank you for catching that. So we are still scoreless, top of the ninth. Ortiz is still in, facing LJ Cron. Here we go. Three, four, six. Is he eager? He is semi-eager. Did not get the dot. Gets a walk. Is he active? Ooh, we got to roll again. He might steal a base. He does not. But we are going to go to the chemistry result. So Cron uh, will lead off with a walk. Bullpen is active for the barrel men. Dave Wedge. And we're going to chemistry. Here we go. 33. Pitching team dissonance? No. Ground out to the first baseman. That'll advance the runner. Oh, and there he is on second base. Here's uh, Manny Infante. One out, one on. One, one, four. Back to the regular chart. Is he fresh? <sighs> he is fresh. Still got the shutout freshness. Ground out to the shortstop. And that brings up Brannon. Three, three, six. Ace or dynamic? He is a semi ace. No dot. Sad psych utility or patient? Nope. Jude Brannon is going to get a single to center field. Oh, golly. Let's see. That will run. That's going to score a run. So Brandon's going to get the RBI. He's going to get Cron in. And there goes the freshness. Well, see if you can get Valenza out. Probably be time for a reliever. We'll bring in the reliever. No point in leaving him in now. Now we'll bring in Kenway. So he is going to get in the game after all. There we go. Facing Valenza. Double ace. One, five, six. Uh, is he a whiffer? He's not. Ooh, we have outfield drama. Twelve. Right fielder iron. Nope. Routine fly out. And that will end the inning. Bottom of the ninth. No score. Uh, we need a new pitcher. Let's bring in the closer. I don't know if we should bring the closer in or not. Let's not. They're hoping that they're, that, uh, they're going to get a run in the 10th. Bring in Sergio Colorado. Hold on. Let's try that, Let's try that again. Let's bring in uh, Goose Clark. Ooh. Goose Clark who's uh, seen better seasons. But he's got some uh, got some control this year. Facing Aaron Walston. Here we are. One, three, four. For Aaron Walston. Gold catcher. Uh, and I don't think either of them are gold. Neither of them are gold. Neither of them are iron. Champion, no. Outfield drama. 44. Center fielder iron? No. Running grab for a dramatic out. That would be Valenza, who makes the dramatic catch. And we're going to go to chemistry. So Walston sends it to center field, but uh, Valenza is able to chase it down. And here's Paxton Friel from the chemistry chart. 44. Uh, pitching team distance? No. Deep fly out to center field. And again, Valenza. Here's Gallardo. Back to the regular chart. Three, four, six. Eager. He is not. He's going to get on with a walk. We got a base runner on Goose Clark. Here's Pantoja. 
three, four, six. It's the same thing. Is he eager? Again, he's not. And another walk. Now two men on. I guess Goose doesn't want to give him anything that he can actually hit. Two men on, two men out. Fausto Arialto. Kind of think it should be a good time to bring in a pinch hitter. For the barrel men. Hmm. Who have they got? Yeah, they don't really have anybody. <laughs> Gaylord Elsner, the catcher. Then they'd have to bring in uh, Marcel Jr. We'll let Ariel to try it. There we go. 166. Uh, Workman of Gilded, no. Whiffer. Yes, yeah, struck him out. So we're going to go to extra innings. Tenth inning, no score. I thought it was... Oh, one. What? Hmm? No, we had to take that run off the board. Oh, okay. That run came off the board because it was off, uh, off uh, the wrong pitcher. All right, so uh, here we are, going to the 10th inning. And we're going to need a new reliever for the Barrelman. Now we'll bring in Sergio Colorado. So Ken Wire gets uh, one third of an inning. All right, here we are. And leading off will be Toby Gallus for Steubenville. Steubenville scored according to Travis. No, I thought I th think it was because of the. Uh, I thought it was no score, too. Steve asked what the score was like five minutes ago, and I said no score. And then several people corrected me to... Oh, all right. Yeah, they did get the, yeah, they did get the one in. Yeah, they did get the one in. Yes. So it is over. Okay. <laughs> Long day for me, I guess. Right. The run came in. So Brandon scored it. Yes. Wedge, uh, it was in the... Uh, yeah, it was... <laughs> it was Right. They just scored it, they just scored it in the, in, the, uh, tenth, in the ninth inning. Brandon got the single, drove in Cron. You're right. So that will end it then. Obviously, it's not my best day as a sports gamer. I'm going to have to stop doing these broadcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. All right. Well, either that or we got to start doing our broadcast at the beginning of the day instead of the end of the day. Uh, but I don't think anybody wants to get up at 4 a.m. to watch a... a a baseball game on, on uh, a YouTube stream. All right, well, there you go. Yes, so the final score was Steubenville 1, Milwaukee nothing, and the, the, the winning RBI from Jude Brannon, uh, who I guess would be our player of the game. Let me just check real quick. Uh, yeah, although I don't know. Ortiz had a pretty strong game. He doesn't get it doesn't get the win, obviously, but man, he pitched both both him and Show pitched very well. So I guess yeah, I guess Brandon gets the uh, the star of the game award. So all right, well Travis, sorry that the barrel men didn't uh, pull this one off, uh, but there's always another game, right? So uh, Monday will be the final installment of our uh, uh, play favorites series, where we play uh, games that we play when we're not doing sports games. Uh, we got a couple of options in mind. We are thinking about maybe uh, Space Base, maybe Tiny Town, uh, but we'll make our final decision. We have another game that we're hoping we'll uh, be able to pick up for the you know, over the weekend and maybe show that, but we'll, we'll kind of shroud that in secrecy. We'll announce that for uh, Monday. Uh, but we'll plan on uh, seeing you Monday evening for the final uh, Play Favorites series. Between now and then, hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy your... Uh, your time. We're supposed to get like a massive snowstorm here in, in the Denver area starting uh, tomorrow night late. They're talking about not even being able to travel. So we might be uh, holed up at home. All stocked up, though. Ready to roll. So uh, wherever you are, hope your weekend is enjoyable, safe, and fun. So we'll see you Monday night. As always, thank you for being part of the Play Games community. <laughs>